If there's one thing that the majority of Harry Potter fans agree with, it's the fact that the book version of Ginny Potter completely outshines the movie version of the youngest born Weasley. In all honesty, it's not that hard as the movie portrayal of Ginny is poor and underdeveloped. Her relatability in the books is what made her so popular and with many young teens experiencing the situations she went through, like the fact that none of her brothers would play with her, being the only girl in the family, or the fact that she practiced her flying skills before she was even allowed to have a broom in an effort for self-improvement, was unfortunately not reflected upon or even mentioned in the movies, when it was these feats that made her so likeable. Book Ginny was a well-developed independent character that had a purpose and knew who she was, yet in the movie she was portrayed as nothing more than Harry's love interest. She could have had such an interesting side story, using the Chamber of Secrets as a perfect catapult into the on-screen development of her character. For me, one of the most disappointing parts of Ginny's role within the movies was her friendship with Hermione Granger, which was non-existent. Book Ginny had a very close relationship with the Muggle-born witch. They would both share secrets and give each other advice, with Hermione even revealing what her kiss with Victor Crumb was like, which also doesn't happen in the fourth movie. Little contributions like standing up for Luna Lovegood when the other students called her Looney. It seems to appear as though it's not just a poor on-screen portrayal, it's as if a different character was created for viewers and the one created for the readers was disregarded. On the page we've got a feisty, fearless, take charge leader, while on the screen we see a feminine girly love interest of the boy who lived, playing a bit part a side role. No mention of the breakup that occurred in the book which at least could have offered some sort of underlying attachment between her and Harry. Such a crucial point in the book was the conversation she and Harry had, as it again shows her happiness with Harry is sacrificed for her own protection. Yet I still feel it comes down to the overall direction the movies were steered in. If you ask me, this should have been part 1 and part 2 in every movie from the Chamber of Secrets forward, not just the Deathly Hallows. Yet Ginny was a character who failed to live up to her paper namesake due to a lack of on-screen time. She was reduced to an attractive girl of no consequence in contrast to the clever, lively, daring and tough girl she was in the book. Thank you very much for watching today's video everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow and it also helps the video to grow too. Tell me what you think of Book Ginny versus Movie Ginny. Do you agree with this video? Was Movie Ginny the big failure that everyone has expected it to be? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. As I said, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Harry Potter Folklore for more Harry Potter content. Thanks again and have a great day.